hello and welcome to this video tutorial but this tutorial is going to be a very simple one um, that is we are trying to implement jquery date picker uh, okay something like this onto our web page um, okay now this is the page that we are going to work and uh, the folder is on the desktop um, you know, like it, it consists of an html page um, it consists of a style sheet it consists of some images so if you're wondering where I got those images and the style sheet, um, I've taken this from um, the jQuery UI library. That is, um, go to jQueryUI.com slash download. There you can see um, a download. Um, there you can download the jQuery UI. Now um, just download it. You'll get something like this. Um, this is a zip file that I've already downloaded. Until that, you'll get these three folders and this is a css folder inside this you can have the jquery ui custom.css and the images folder now um, these are two supporting files that are required for you know properly displaying the date picker so we'll copy this and then we'll place it over here inside the folder that we are actually working on so yeah that's it now the next thing that we wanted to have is uh, this html page um, inside the HTML page, what we have is a, is, is a head tag, and inside the head tag, we have two script tags. Now, basically, what we have done over here is connected our linked Google API, um, jQuery from Google APIs. So, you can go to um, you know, like the Google library is, and then um, you can uh, you know, get the jQuery um, library from that. From Google API, this is a much better way of connecting um, or adding jQuery in, into your website rather than putting the jQuery library inside your own website. Now, the second thing that I've added is jQuery um, UI. Um, again, um, it, it it is highly recommended that if you are not trying to develop anything on jQuery, uh, using uh, if you're not trying to modify jQuery, then always go for the minified version. Now, the next thing that I've added is uh, the style sheet. Now I've also um, opened the script tag over here. Now we'll be working, we'll be writing some scripts inside this script tag. And now I've also added um, an input box, and I've given an ID of date picker. You can give any ID of your choice. Now basically, what we have is nothing but um, an input box over here. Now we are going to target this date picker ID, uh, this ID of date picker. So first thing. Um, is to make sure the document is ready so if, if the document is ready execute a function okay and that function is going to be a date picker so we are going to check if the, the person is going to you know a person has clicked on the text box so we are going to target that element using the id so id of date picker and if that if the person clicked on the text box with id date picker then we are going to call the function date picker okay so that's it um, our date picker should be running now so we have this um, on, the, on the on the page but then um, this kind of a date would not be you know you might need to change the date format and things like that so for that jquery provides a lot of um, options now if you want to disable uh, the J jquery date picker then you can do that uh, using disable property i mean disable option simply copy this thing and uh, put to curly brackets and you can pass parameters over here okay disable equals true now if i do this uh, this will be disabled and you won't have it. I think I've made a mistake. Um, disable double S is not there. Okay. Okay. If you do this, this will disable again a mistake. Disable. Okay. If you do this, you know right now um, I, i'm trying to click on this input box and we don't have uh, the um, date picker popping up so we have disabled it 
now if you want to change the trade date format you have something over here for that um, it's uh, date default date date format yeah that is ok now this is date format and if you want to change the date format you can have that um, instead of disable we'll put this we'll save it and we'll go to firefox and refresh the page and when i click on that i have a different format for the date now in this manner you can have a lot of effects you can have a lot of customization uh, for jquery date picker so that's it um, we are going to end this tutorial hope you learned something from this and uh, do post your comments and uh, your suggestions thank you for watching this tutorial have a great day bye